Have you ever rewatched one of your videos and cringe at your wondering eyes? The perfect take, but it looks like you are talking to someone standing just off camera. What if I told you that there are two powerful tools that can fix this instantly? Today, we are diving deep into AI eye contact technology, specifically with this script and comparing it head to head with my favorite teleprompter, the Elgato prompter. Which one is right for your video content, especially if you are recording a video podcast? Let's find out. Hey there, Veronica here from PSS Creative Media. In the world of video and video podcasts, eye contact isn't just polite. It's powerful, it builds trust, creates connection, and keeps your audience engaged. But when you are reading a script or just trying to remember your points, it's easy to lose that connection. For years, teleprompters were the go-to solution, but now AI is changing the game. So which one should you use to look professional and connect with your audience, whether you're recording videos for YouTube or a video podcast? But before we dive into the solutions, I'm curious, what is your biggest struggle with eye contact on camera right now? Are you constantly looking at your nose? Are you just feeling awkward? Do you look like you're reading? Let me know in the comments below. And speaking of connecting with your audience, looking professional is only half the bottle. The bottle. The bottle. The bottle. It's a bottle. You also need amazing content that keeps them coming back. So stick around because later in this video, I'm going to share with you a free tool that takes away all of the stress of planning your podcast episodes, helping you create content your audience really wants. First up, let's talk about AI eye contact. This is a game changer, especially for those of us who want to read a script or note without looking like we're reading. All right, let's jump into the script and see this AI eye contact technology in action. For this demo, I've got a short clip here. As you can see, my eyes are clearly not looking directly at the camera. Maybe I was glancing at my notes or I just got distracted. It happens. This is a common scenario for many of us, especially when we are recording a video podcast and trying to keep track of our script or trying to keep track of our interview points. Now watch how simple this is. Once your footage is inside the script, you'll find the AI eye contact feature under AI tools. It's literally just one click away. I'm just going to select it right here and boom. The script's eye contact gets applied quick. And just like that, look at the difference. My eyes are now perfectly aligned with the camera, making it seem like I was looking directly at you the entire time. You can also toggle the effect on and off to see the difference between takes. It is very subtle, but incredibly effective for building that connection with your audience, whether it is for a YouTube video or a video podcast episode. Now here's a quick tip. The script does a fantastic job, but if you have a lot of extreme head movement, it may not work. It's designed to be a subtle correction, not a, just a complete head transplant. But for most talking head videos or video podcast segments, it works mm -hmm. wonders. So what are the big advantages of using AI contact? Well, for starters, there's no extra hardware needed on set. You don't need to buy or set up any bulky equipment. It's all done right there in the software. And this is huge because it fixes eye contact in post-production. That means it's great for existing footage, spontaneous shots, or even if you're just messed up a take. It really is a lifesaver for video podcast interviews where you might be looking at your guest on a different screen, not directly at the camera. Plus, it can be a quick, easy solution for minor adjustments. For those little glances away, it's a fast fix. And if you're already using the script for your editing your videos or podcasts, it integrates seamlessly into your existing workflow. Now, of course, nothing's perfect, so let's talk about the downsides of AI eye contact. One thing to keep in mind is that it can sometimes look unnatural or robotic if the head movement is too extreme. It's not magic, so if you're constantly looking far off camera, it might struggle to make it look completely natural. Also, it relies on a software which may have a subscription cost. This script is a paid tool that's a factor to consider for your budget. And finally, it's not a real-time solution for live streams or direct interactions. This is a post-production fix, so for live content, you'll definitely need a different approach. So what do you think of this script's AI eye contact? Have you tried it before? Does it seem like something you would like to use in your workflow for your next video podcast? Drop a comment and let me know your first impression. Now let's shift gears to the classic solution, but with a modern twist, the teleprompter. 
This is the Elgato Prompter, and it's a fantastic piece of gear for creators who want to deliver a perfectly polished scripted message while maintaining flawless eye contact. This tool is especially powerful for a scripted video podcast or any content where precise delivery is key. The magic here is this special reflective glass. Your camera lens shoots through it while your script is displayed on the screen of the teleprompter because the way it works is as an additional monitor you can drag things to. Cool, right? This means that you are looking directly into the lens, but you're also reading your script at the same time. It's genius. Also, if you are recording interviews remotely, you can drag the screen to the teleprompter and have your guest and your nose there so you don't have to break eye contact at any time. Getting your script onto the prompter is super easy. You just load it into the companion app and it appears right here on the screen. We use the teleprompter app or the functions inside the Elgato Camera Hub, which is the app that you need to download when you're setting up the prompter for the first time. Then you can control the scroll speed either manually or sometimes even with a remote to match your natural speaking pace. And as you can see, I can read my entire script, deliver all my points, and my eyes never leave the camera. It looks incredibly natural because it's a natural eye contact. This is a huge advantage for professionalism, especially if you are recording with a guest remotely, recording a talking head video or a podcast episode or live streaming. Your eyes never leave the lens. So what are the big upsides of using a dedicated teleprompter like the Elgato prompter? Well, first off, it provides genuinely natural eye contact in real time. There's no AI trying to guess where your eye should be. You're actually looking right at the lens as you speak. This real-time control also means that it allows for fully scripted and polished delivery. You just have to practice and adjust the pace and the font so you don't sound disconnected from the script, which can be pretty bad, like I just did. <laughs> like the way that I am doing it right now. You are not connecting with me because I am talking too slow. Or maybe I start talking too fast and this way, like, and you can't follow either. If you have a complex message or you need to hit specific points precisely, a teleprompter has your back, you won't miss a beat. Some of us are better at writing than talking. This is a way that you can leverage your strengths. Instead of thinking that you'll never be good at communicating ideas eloquently, you can use a solution like this. It's a truly great for longer, more complex videos, presentations, or those highly scripted video podcasts where every single word matters. And because it's a piece of gear, it's a physical solution, you'll find that there are no post-production artifacts that you may sometimes see with AI. Now let's talk about the downsides of teleprompters because they are definitely not for everyone. The biggest one is that it requires a dedicated hardware investment this isn't a free software feature. Nope. You'll need it to purchase the unit itself. It also can take some time to set it up, to calibrate. It's not just a plug and play. You'll need to get it mounted correctly and adjust the script. Another thing to consider is that it definitely requires practice to read naturally without sounding robotic. You have to learn to deliver your lines with emotion even though you're reading them. And finally, it's not ideal for a spontaneous or scripted content. River if you're just freestyling there, or doing a casual oh. vlog, a teleprompter might yeah, actually get in the way of your natural flow. If you've used the... the teleprompter before, what's your favorite feature or what has been your biggest challenge? Let me know in the comments and share some of your tips when you're using a teleprompter. That will be very helpful for this community. Now, speaking of creating great video podcasts while having the right tools for eye contact is very important. Equipment alone doesn't make a great podcast. You also need to have amazing content, engaging content, incredible content, content that's good, that your audience will enjoy. Good, good content. content. But don't worry, I've got you a tool that I use to help my clients plan their first episodes is the nine weeks your way episode planner. You can try this tool for free by going to pss.media slash planner. This powerful tool takes away the stress and guesswork of content planning, saving you hours of brainstorming and researching. By clearly defining your target audience and their needs, it ensures that each of your initial episodes is a highly relevant, engaging, and set up for growth in the long run, which, which is, is what matters. matters. And here's how it works. Just answer 
three simple questions. The first one, who you imagine your audience is. The next one is what problem your show solves and why your audience should keep tuning in each week. And then drop in your name and email so we can send you the results. Hit submit and you are done. Behind the scenes, this very smart tool takes your answers, cross-reference them with trending data and best practices and uses my proven strategy to generate custom nine-week content calendar tailored specifically for your show. Hmm? <laughs> Thinking through your answers is key. It's what makes the magic happen. The strategy involves creating three types of episodes channel growers, lead generators, and community builders. I've used this strategy with my own videos and with my clients, and it works every single time. Once you submit your information, you'll quickly receive an email containing your first nine episodes, three episodes for each pillar with relevant, up-to-date, and customized topics and talking points tailored specifically for your audience. Again, you can access this amazing tool for free by going to pss.media slash planner. So with both AI eye contact and a physical teleprompter on the table, how do you decide which one is the best fit for your content creation workflow, especially if you are producing a video podcast? Let me help you decide looking at a quick comparison of the key factors. When it comes to cost, we are talking about a software subscription for AI versus a hardware investment for the teleprompter. For ease of use and setup, AI is often a click of a button in post-production, while a teleprompter involves physical setup and a bit of practice. Regarding the naturalness of the results, AI can be good, but sometimes imperfect, but a teleprompter with practice provides truly natural eye contact. Think about real-time versus post-production. The teleprompter is a live onset solution, while AI is a fix you applied after recording in post-production. And finally, for ideal use cases, AI eye contact is great for quick fixes, interviews where you occasionally glance away, or repurposing content when you don't want extra gear. A teleprompter, on the other hand, is ideal for highly scripted videos, presentations, online courses, live streams, when you need precise delivery and perfect eye contact every single time, and to look professional in your video podcast. Ultimately, neither is inherently better. It's about what suits your specific needs. Okay, after seeing both in action, which solution are you leaning towards for your next video or video podcast? Are you team AI eye contact or are you team teleprompter? Let me know your preference in the comments below. So whether you choose AI eye contact or teleprompter, the goal is the same, to connect more effectively with your audience. If this video helped you decide, please give it a thumbs up, share it with another creator who needs this, and don't forget to subscribe to PSA creative media for more tips on video podcast and content but the learning doesn't end right here you will need a more in-depth tutorial if you want to set up either of these two tools you'll need to learn about best practices installation and how to troubleshoot and these two videos can help you do exactly that they are a must watch